Hello everyone, this is the Amazing Ellis, and I want to say thank you for letting me reach 83 subscribers. I really do appreciate it, but I'm not that desperate for subs and views, so I just want to make a story, because I haven't done that in over like a month or so. So, this is going to be focusing on another story I made called Ellis Adventures. Now, Ellis Adventures is the sequel to James the Unknown Kid. Now, if you don't know what that is, I recommend you watch the entire James storyline in under 5 minutes video. That will explain in, of what happened. So, anyways, shall we begin with Ellis Adventures 1? Alright, we are? Okay. Ellis Adventures 1. After James the Unknown Kid, I shredded the map, which was a part of our multiversal universe, however you call it. And my brother, Parker, and my and his friend named Trevor, and my creation, James, make it out alive. And Parker says that I ended our lives. Yeah, it, it made no sense. Well, <laughs> well, actually, no, I did because I shredded the map. Yes, I, I really did. With a shredder. And I'll, I'll explain how that happens, probably in the end of the video or so. So, James breaks my arm for shredding the map, like I said. And basically everyone, every, well, okay, no, basically, my friend, well, not my friend, Trevor, Parker, and James were mad at me for doing that. And they hated me for this. But we got together in Ellis Adventures 2. Ellis Adventures 2. We, okay, I don't even know why I said that twice. But anyways, we defeat a monster up in the mountains. That was something I made up and wanted just to make for a story. I don't know why, but who cares. And the monster will never have a name. I don't know, but who cares? Like I said again, who cares? Who cares? I'm sorry for repeating myself. I just want to get done with the story. Well, actually, no, I did complete it, but I just wanted to get done explaining it to you guys. So, Ellis Adventures 3, I decide it's best to destroy a military base with a single knife. Yep, and I call it the speedrunner knife. Or speedrun knife. And it hit the reactor core of ARM. Yes, the same people who took James to another planet. Oh yeah, you might be wondering, where are they now? That will be explained later in Ellis Adventure Zero. Now, what else happens? I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, Ellis Adventure Four. We figured out our world is a multiverse. Yes, the real world. The one where me, Trevor, Parker, and James were there. So then, in Ellis Adventure Five, we confront Jordan. Yes, the same kid who gave me the magical sketchbook. And then, Jordan's dad appears. Yes, Jordan has a father. And he's like, Jordan, we're going to have a talk. Then just grounds him. Yep, that's a thing. And then, oh yeah, if you're wondering, we travel back to the real world. That's how it happened. That's how we confronted Jordan. And then, we decided to make a time machine in Ellis Adventure 6. Now, Parker was the only guy who decided to volunteer to time travel in order to get rid of the multiverse, which might have a change of events. We'll explain that later. Now, for Ellis Adventure 7, James dies. Yes, he actually does. Well, he gets erased from existence, that's how. And... I knocked my brother out for that because I actually liked having James with me. As in like my guardian or protector or something. <laughs> James is somewhat helpful, but little do we know he's a kid of multiple abilities. And Ellis Adventures 8, I believe. Actually, no, no, 7. Yeah, I got a dog. And then Ellis Adventures 8, the dog named... The dog's name is Rosie. And then, guess what? She can talk. Yes. And then, which scared me and Trevor. No, I'm sorry, not Trevor. Parker. They keep saying Trevor. And then, oh yeah, 
Speaking of that, Trevor comes in. Yep. Trevor just knocks on the door. I let him in. And then we're just questioning how the dog can talk. So then, um, Rosie ex says, oh, she, um, some firewolf or fire magic gave me the ability to speak. And I was like, a firewolf or fire magic? What is up with this world? That's actually what I said. <laughs> now it's Adventures, no, eight. Now yeah. it's Adventures nine. We go to the Fire Life Woods. Now what that is, it's a forest with wildfires. Yep, wildfires often happen there. And then after the wildfires are over, the trees go back in about, about a couple of days or so. Which makes no sense, but I like it. That's probably like my favorite location I've ever made in Ellis Adventures. In, or probably in all my stories I made so far. Yes, there are more stories I made and probably will never discuss again. <laughs> in Ellis Adventures 9, um, we meet the Firewolf of Fire Magic. Then. We want to know what gave the ability for my dog to speak and how he can speak. The Firewolf of Fire of Magic is named Sam. Now, Sam, if you're watching this, um, I hope you're happy that you're in the story in those adventures. Um, he's my friend, but I'm not going to explain what happened. So, um, he says that a intergalactic being named or known as the Nexus Man. Yes, that's his real name. Or his name. <laughs> he says that he's the one who created the entire Ellis universe. Well, not the Ellis universe, but he's a set universe in the story. And he decided to give the ability for some of the animals to speak because why not? And yeah. He decides to throw me across all the way to my house. And which actually hurt me very badly. Yes, I was injured. And, um, that's it. He pretty much leaves. And I think that's in Ellis Adventures 10. In Ellis Adventures 11, I believe. Um,. If I can remember what happened. I don't know, but I'm just going to say from 11 to 13, James comes back. Now, you might be wondering, Ellis, how did James come back? Well, here's all I could just come up with. Alright, so there's a realm known as the Erased Realm, where everyone who either gets erased or dies gets sent to that realm. So it's pretty much like a second chance of you living. And... James was the only one to escape. So he decided to get revenge on me, Trevor, and Parker. Yep. And another fictional character that my brother and, Tre and his friend created, known as in The Defender, he, he saves the world by slicing James in, in half. Don't worry, there's there's no blood. Just cosmic energy coming out of James, which probably makes no sense. He just came back as a cosmic being, which also makes no sense. But that's all I could just come up with, so forgive me. And that's pretty much the end of Ellis Adventures. Now, what did we learn so far in James the Unknown Kid in this story? Never create a character that has multiple abilities that can probably break reality in time. So yeah, um, thank you for watching the videos. And uh, I don't know what other YouTuber says something different other than subscribing and liking the video. That was a joke, by the way. So, and a serious thing. So yeah, I don't know. You, you can subscribe if you want to. I'm not forcing anyone to subscribe. You can like or dislike the video if you want to. Um, you can share this with a few friends if you found this funny or cool, entertaining. And uh, yeah, I'm just going 
to probably make another video because why not? And I decided to make this video just to change my content a little bit. If that made any sense. So, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Ellis Adventure Zero. This actually took place after James the Unknown Kid and before Ellis Adventures. So, yeah. And I decided to leave it with a message saying thank you for reading the Ellis Adventure series. Damn, um, thank, thank you very much. And the Defender? Now, put it this way. He's like the Punisher, like Marvel's Punisher and Marvel's Blade character. But they're like combined together. And that's how he became the Defender. Yeah, that's how the character named the Defender became him, himself. And yes, he has a lot of weapons and his own sword. Or katana. If... You're, if you live in Japan. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and, um, the Nexus Man, now, he was inspired by another Marvel character named, uh, oh yeah, the one above all, yeah, the one above all. And, yeah, that, that's all I know that I could come up with. The Nexus Man, like, Okay, so the word Nexus, like Nexus of all realities from Marvel, and like how Fortnite, the Fortnite game, uses the word Nexus or term Nexus, like Fortnite Nexus War, the zero point known as Nexus Orb. Yeah, that's where the name, I decided to name it him. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for it. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for watching the video. And I might make another story. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to make another one. So, yeah. Um, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. You can comment on the video if you want to. You don't really have to, but I actually do need some video suggestions. Because I feel, feel, feel like it will be a waste of time just to figure out things on my own. Other than making videos of the Grind Thousand series. And no, I don't really hate the Grind Thousand series. I'm okay with it. Just, there's a lot of things that's just going on. And, yeah. I'm just gonna go. And, goodbye. And, uh, this is Amazing Alice. Thank you for watching the video. And, this has been over 12 minutes. Like, seriously. Um... I try to keep it short, but, but, nah, I should just let my channel be, yeah, I'm gonna go.